Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to do sorting of the data. So if you have some setup data, how to reorganize that data in alphabetical order or <coughs> if you have some setup numbers, how to uh, rearrange the numbers from smallest to largest or largest to smallest and how to do the horizontal sorting and how to do the <coughs> multi-column sorting and how to do the two-step sorting all these things we'll be seeing in this video let us go uh, with one by one first we'll see how to do the alphabetical order sorting for that i will take some data here i have some data name of the class teacher i'll copy few names here <coughs> paste now i want to rearrange these names uh, in alphabetical order for that what we what you have to do is initially we have to keep the <coughs> you need to select any cell okay any cell or any one of the name you need to select you need to select all the names I'll select any one name. <coughs> so after that, here you have an option called sort and filter. Okay. So here I have the sort and filter option in home screen only. If you do not get this option in home screen, it will be there in the data tab. Okay. Under data tab, this sort and filter option will be there. Here you can see A to Z, Z to A sort option will be there. So here I have the option in home screen only. I will be using here. Click on sort and filter. So after selecting any one name, <coughs> any one name, click on sort and filter. If you want to rearrange the names from A to Z, click on A to Z. You can see the names are rearranged from A to Z in alphabetical order okay if you want the same names to be reorganized from Z to A select Z to A you can see the names are reorganized from Z to A so this is how we do the alphabetical order sorting okay next we will we'll see how to organize the numbers from smallest to largest value and vice versa okay for that i'll take some numbers i have some marks list i'll copy all the marks list so here i'll copy the marks list paste <coughs> now i want all these numbers to be organized from smallest to largest so same uh, steps keep the Select any one of the cell means any one number you need to select. You just go to sort and filter option and it will ask for whether to sort from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. I will take uh, the smallest to largest uh, sorting. Now you can see the numbers have been sorted from smallest value from the top to the largest value to the bottom. Or else you can sort from largest to smallest okay now you can see largest value is appearing in the top cell and smallest value in the bottom cell so this is how we do the smallest to largest and largest to smallest sorting now let us see how to do this horizontal sorting for that i will take few numbers copy okay now let us see how to do the horizontal sorting now i want all these numbers which are there in horizontal direction to be sorted from smallest to the smallest value to the largest value from left to right okay <coughs> To sort the numbers horizontally, what you have to do is you have to select all the numbers. Click on sort and filter. If you click on sort 
from smaller to largest or smallest to largest you can see nothing is happening sorting is not happening even if you click on larger to smallest sorting is not happening because by default the excel has taken sorting along the column okay that option we have to change for that for that only what we have to do we have to select all the numbers go to sort and filter then click on custom sort click on custom sort now sort by column <coughs> okay by default it has taken sort by column this option we have to change for that you click on this option tab so here you have two options sort top to bottom sort left to right here you need to change to sort left to right say ok now it will ask for row, row number 2 whatever the numbers we have pasted they are in row number 2 I will select this row number 2 now it will ask whether to smallest to largest or largest to smallest uh, <coughs> sorting I will take smallest to largest sorting now you can see the numbers have been sorted from smallest value to the largest value from left to right similarly you can change from largest to smallest ok <coughs> so this is how uh, we do the horizontal sorting now let us see how to do the multi column sorting ok how to do the multi column sorting now <coughs> I will take uh, two columns multi column is more than two columns or uh, two or more columns is called as multi column Okay, I will take all these numbers, copy, paste, <coughs> this multi column sorting it is similar to uh, the thing which I explained uh, for the single column sorting. So to do this multi column sorting, so before that what I will do is, so this 22 is first IMRs for Anil Kumar, 49 is second IMRs for Anil Kumar, I will change the, I will fill the color for Anil Kumar and the marks. Now to do this multi column sorting, same procedure, you have to click on any one of the cell, any one of the cell, okay. Now, I want this first IMRs to be sorted from smallest to largest value. So, uh, you select any number, sort and filter, okay, sort and filter, sort smallest to largest. Now, it has been sorted, okay, from smaller value at the top to the larger value at the bottom ok meanwhile <coughs> the other data which is associated in the neighboring columns ok means second IMRs and the name it is also automatically changed along with the number um, along with the first IMRs ok the, along this this 22 number ok for example if I want to sort this uh, third column, second IMRs from ascending to descending, means, means in the smallest to largest value, click on smallest to largest, you can see automatically the third column is reorganized from smallest to largest value. Meanwhile, the other two associated columns are also replaced so that there won't be any disturbance or there won't be any change in the actual data ok <coughs> so the excel will take care of uh, the associated uh, data automatically ok in the neighboring columns in the neighboring columns ok suppose if you want to <coughs> reorganize the data of any one particular column and you don't want to reorganize 
the data which is which are present in other two columns that is that option is also possible for that what you have to do is you have to select the all the data which is there in the third column okay now go to sort and filter smallest to largest so when you click on smallest to largest it will give uh, the warning it will ask for whether to expand the selection if you click if you select to expand the selection the automatically the number neighboring column uh, values will be rearranged okay if you don't want means you have to click on continue with the current selection okay i will select continue with the current selection save say sort so it is already in the uh, smallest smallest to largest value it is already as organized so that is why there won't there is no change i'll uh, take uh, largest to smallest okay continue with the current selection sort now you can see the yellow 49 number only is uh, replaced okay replaced and other two associate data they are not replaced okay they are at the same position okay so both options are also possible okay so this is how uh, we do uh, the multi column sorting okay now let us see how to do the two step sorting how to do the two step sorting for that i will take some other data here i'll take uh, these two data department and name of the class teacher okay copy here i'll paste yes now what i will do is i will uh, sort the department in alphabetical order okay sort and filter a to z now you can see the department is sorted in alphabetical order parallelly the associated names are also appearing okay uh, with a department correct now what i want is now you can see under cac department uh, there are around four uh, different names okay and if you take this four names which are under the cac department these names are not in alphabetical order now uh, what i want is i want all the department to be reorganized in alphabetical order along with that i also want the names under each department to be sorted in alphabetical order okay that is called as two step sorting okay that is called as two step sorting for that what you have to do is you need to select click on any cell go to sort and filter now you need to click on custom sort you need to click on custom sort so here sort by column k initially i want the data to be organized in alphabetical order with respect to the department name i will select column k okay order is a to z okay alphabetical order from a to z okay now if you want to organize the names under each department in alphabetical order you have to click on add level add level column l means this column column l a to z say okay now you can see the names under each department are organized in alphabetical order correct if you take the names under first year department or the basic science department all the names under each branch are organized in alphabetical order from a to z okay this is how we do the uh, two step sorting with text there is one more uh, uh, two step sorting with number 
two step sorting with number what i will do is i will delete these names i'll delete these names right i'll copy these numbers copy paste I'll copy some more numbers. Yes. Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is, I want to reorganize or sort the department names in alphabetical order. That is first condition. Second condition is, under each department, under each department, I want to organize the numbers in ascending order, means from smallest to largest value. Okay. The same way we have to do the certain filter. Click on any one cell, click on custom sort, custom sort, sort by column K first, order is A to Z, A to Z, then I add level. Sort by column L, smallest to largest or largest, I want smallest to largest, say OK. Now you can see, under each department, there are numbers and those numbers are organized in smallest to largest value. If you take any department, first year you can take, if you take from 10 to 30 it is organized. From IAC, for IAC department is from 20 to 36 it is organized from smallest to largest value similarly for AI department also Okay, so this is how we do two step sorting with the number Okay So this is what the uh, Sorting option in Excel. Thank you